we are going to discuss about the cell division. The first thing is what is cell division? Cell division is a process in which a parent cell is divided and produces two or more daughter cells. Parent cell will divide, it will produce two or more daughter cells. These are daughter cells. The next thing is why the cell is dividing. Cell is dividing because when cell grows in sizes, cell will grow in sizes, the, the volume of cytoplasm increases. The control of nucleus on the cytoplasm becomes less. So the cell will divide and produces daughter cell and the nucleus will control all the vital activities of the cell. There are the theories that we can detect how the cell is divided that is karyoplasmic index theory. The formula of karyoplasmic index theory is Vn upon Vc minus Vn where Vc is equal to volume of cell and Vn is equal to volume of the nucleus. So it is clear from the formula when the volume of the cytoplasm will increases, <coughs> the karyoplasmic increases, when the volume of the volume of the cytoplasm increases, the karyoplasmic index will be decreased. And when the volume of cytoplasm will be increased, the karyoplasmic index will be decreased. We are going to discuss about the cell division. The first thing is, what is cell division? Cell division is a process in which a parent cell is divided into two or more daughter cells. These are daughter cells. Now the second thing is why the cell is dividing. Why the cell is? Cell is dividing because we know the nucleus controls all the vital activities. Of when cell grows in sizes, the volume of the cytoplasm increases and the nucleus that is controlling all the vital activities of the cytoplasm will be decreases. So the, so the control of the nucleus on the cytoplasm become less. So the cell will divide and produces daughter cell. These are comparatively small as comparatively to the parent cell. So now the nucleus can control all the vital activities of the cell. We can understand by the karyoplasmic index theory. Formula of the karyoplasmic index theory is Vn upon Vc minus Vn, where Vn equal to volume of the nucleus and Vc volume of cell. So Vc minus Vn is equal to volume of the cytoplasm. So when the volume of the cytoplasm increases, the karyoplasmic index will be decreased. And when the volume of the cytoplasm decreases, the karyoplasmic index will be increased. So small, ce small cell contain, so the small cell contain more karyoplasmic and the large cell contain less karyoplasmic index. Now the cell cycle. What is cell cycle? The process of the cell division occurs in a cyclic form that is the cell cycle. Cell cycle is further divided into two stages. The first one is interphase and the second thing is M phase. Interphase is a long phase so that's why it is called non-division phase. And the M phase is also called the division phase because the division occurs at this stage 
M phase is a short phase that is approximately one hour long, and the interphase is approximately twenty three hours long. In the interphase, cell grows in sizes, and in M phase, cell divides. Now the interphase is further divided into three parts. First one G one. Second one is S phase. Third one is G two phase. G one phase is also called gap one phase. This is also called pre DNA synthesis phase. S phase is also called synthetic phase because synthesis of DNA occurs at this stage. And the G two phase is also called gap two phase or post DNA synthesis phase. If we see the cell cycle in the diagram, it is further divided to four stages. That is G1, S, G2, and M phase. G1 phase is approximately 12 hours long. S phase is approximately 6 to 8 hours long, and the G2 phase is approximately 3 to 4 hours long, and M phase is approximately 1 hour long. So mainly in G1 stage, the cell grows in sizes. The formation of RNA takes place at this stage, and the protein are also formed as cell organelles, and the cell organelles synthesizes. Now the second phase is S phase. In S phase mainly, the stone protein synthesis of the stone protein takes place. And second thing is DNA. Also synthesizes at this stage, and the centrioles are also synthesized at this stage. Now the next stage is G2 stage. In G2 stage, mainly proteins are formed. Mainly tubulin proteins are formed, and here the ATP will be also formed because the cell requires ATP to divide. The actual preparation of the cell division occurs in G2 stage. Now that is interphase stage. Now the in M phase, the M phase is further divided into two parts. That is mitosis, and the second thing is meiosis. The mitosis is a equatorial division. Because the diploid cell, because the diploid cell remain diploid, but meiosis is a reductional division because the diploid cell becomes haploid. Now the mitosis produces two cell, but the meiosis produces four cell. Now the first thing is mitosis. Mitosis occurs in somatic cells. And in mitosis, mainly two daughter cells are formed. The process of mitosis occurs in two stages. The first stage is karyokinesis. Second stage is cytokinesis. In karyokinesis, division of nucleus takes place. In cytokinesis, division of Cytoplasm takes place. The karyokinesis is further divided into four sub-stages. The first one is prophase. The second thing is metaphase. The third thing is anaphase. The fourth is telophase. After karyokinesis, the process of cytokinesis will takes place where The division of cytoplasm takes place. Now, the first thing is prophase, that is cell membrane, that is nucleus, and that are chromatin fibers. There are nucleolus is also present in the nucleus. The centriole. Are also present in the cytoplasm. In early prophase stage, the chromatin fiber 
becomes dense and nuclear membrane and the nuclear dust will be disappear and the sand fuels moves to move towards to the pole the sand fuels and the spindle fibers begin to form that is prophase now the second stage is metaphase in metaphase all chromosomes are arranged on the equator of the cell and forms a plate that is called the metaphase plate and the spindle fibers that is formed are arranged on pole to centromere they are mainly two types of spindle fibers are formed the first one is continuous spindle fiber the second one is discontinuous spindle fibers discontinuous spindle fiber these are discontinuous because these are present between pole to centromeres and centromeres to pole now the third stage is anaphase stage in anaphase the interzonal fiber appears on the equator so the centromere divides into two and forms two chromosomes these chromosomes remain attached to the pole with the help of the spindle fibers each chromosome divides into two now the last phase is telophase that is also called reverse prophase in telophase stage the nuclear membrane and the nucleolus begin to reappear and the centriole will remain at the opposite pole that is the process of karyokinesis now the process of cytokinesis means division of cytoplasm in animals the process of cytokinesis occurs by the process of phoroformation but in plants cytokinesis will be done by the help of the cell plate formation